This is so exciting! Hello and long time no see. Just to give you guys a rapid fire life update thing before we really get into the video. Since I pretty much last picked up my camera, I finished my master's degree and graduated. We packed up our entire lives and moved off of Oahu. We are now in Southern California. I dyed my hair. I have like not quite half and half hair. It's like a third and two thirds. Oh yeah, we got another dog. This is Tala. She's a rescue and she just got spayed about a week ago. So she's still wearing her collar and healing her stitches. And I guess most importantly, we moved into our new house. There are lots of exciting things about this new house, but I think the one thing that is of most importance to my YouTube channel and general online social media life is that once again, I have my own office and it's like three times the size, which is crazy. I am so grateful and I'm so happy with my space so far. We've been moved in for about a week now and we have only maybe one or two boxes left to unpack, which is great. Today, what I kind of wanted to do, if you haven't seen the title of this video already, is to reorganize all of these bookshelves. So I have all of the bookshelves from our previous apartment in here for the most part. A couple of them were retired and turned into sort of storage. I was able to pick up a couple of more bookshelves in the moving process, so now I have a wall of bookshelves and they're all kind of different and funky, which I personally love. I know that a lot of booktubers have like walls of Ikea bookshelves and it looks so pretty and I totally love that for them, but for me, not only could I not afford that, but it's just not personally my aesthetic. I really, really enjoy the kind of wonkiness of the mismatched uh, bookshelves. And it actually worked out really well because as I was unpacking my books, I was not really unpacking them in any order or looking to organize them while I was unpacking. I literally just unpack things by genre. So in this far bookshelf, this little white bookshelf, that is YA and middle grade contemporary. And then this bookshelf is adult contemporary. We have YA fantasy and then adult fantasy. And then very far over there, which I will show you in a second, is my TBR shelf. Again, I pretty much just threw everything I had from the boxes onto these shelves by genre because that was the general gist of what I wanted to do in terms of organizing my bookshelves initially. Um, and it looks like I generally have enough room for all of my books. The TBR shelf is a little full because I did accumulate a lot of books while I was sort of waiting to move into our house. So um, I am going to take you guys on a little bit of a reorganization. It's going to be totally chill. Not a lot of commentary. Just going to show you guys how I'm organizing and yeah, come chill with me in my new office while I reorganize my bookshelves.
So on this first white bookshelf that I thrifted, I have all of my YA and middle grade fantasy slash contemporary. The middle grade contemporary, I don't have a lot of middle grade, so I just kind of put them all on the shelf. Um, the top shelf, top two shelves actually, are going to be all of my paperbacks and then all of my hardbacks are on the bottom shelf. And then on this shelf, which used to be my TBR shelf, we have all of my adult contemporary mysteries, pretty much anything that isn't fantasy but is still adult. So I have all of the paperbacks again on the top two shelves and then all of my hardbacks on the bottom shelves with a few paperbacks that couldn't fit on these two shelves. So. This is already a full and bursting bookshelf. I'm kind of worried for what happens when I read more adult. And everything on this shelf is YA fantasy and then also my CD collection right here because it's like this shelf is too small to really fit any books besides some CDs. So that's all where all, so that's where all my CDs are. Um, so on the top here, we just have my extra large, I guess, YA fantasy books. Um, they don't fit on this shelf. They're a little too tall, so I had to put them on top, which is not a big deal. I think they look cute up there. Um, I have all of my hardbacks in this top shelf right here. And then one row of paperbacks next. And last but not least, another row of paperbacks. It's not really complete. Um, I do have my lunchbox there to kind of fill up space. Um, so I might eventually swap this bookshelf with that bookshelf since I think I have a lot more adult fantasy, contemporary mysteries on my TBR shelf than I do have YA fantasy. And then this is my adult fantasy bookshelf slash my classics bookshelf. So at the top here we have all of my series sort of. So um, a lot of these series are incomplete but um, I just wanted to at least start the series. I know I'm going to continue these series, so I thought why not put these copies up there. Um, here are some more series books. These are all paperbacks. It is very satisfying to have that shelf. Um, and then the next shelf is all of my fantasies that are kind of standalones. There might be like a series or two in here but I don't think I'm going to continue with them, so they are on this shelf for now. At the very bottom is a smorgasbord of classics and some other books, nothing really special. And last but not least is my TBR shelf, so I pretty much just did alphabetical order as best as I could with all of my paperbacks up top. And then here we have all of my hardback TBR, my classics TBR, and then those are all of my library checkouts right now. Um, this middle shelf, again, it can't really fit anything here, so I put a bunch of my ARCs and extra editions here, um, all of the book mail, uh, I guess, what are they called? Like advertisement things that you get with ARCs and whatnot, um, and then some other tchotchkes and ephemera, such as my candles. Um, and underneath here, there's no books, there's just a bunch of stationery, in case you were curious. Okay, so I'm sorry for my appearance, and if you can hear the air conditioning in the background. Again, I moved to Southern California, it's freaking hot right now. And of course, my office is the room that gets the hottest during the day, which will be great for the winter time, but currently we're all suffering. But yeah, that includes my bookshelf reorganization and tour. I really don't have much else for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this in some capacity. Let me know what you've been up to recently. I feel like it's been forever since I've uploaded a video, at least one that I actually filmed recently. Um, so yeah, I'd love to get to know what you guys have been up to. Thanks so much as always for tuning in. I hope you have a good rest of your day and a good rest of your week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.